What's going on guys? Back for part two of reacting to your Bakugan collections. I don't want to waste any time. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump into it. All right, a lot of darkest. Very awesome. Ooh, you got a translucent night. Percival, my favorite. Very cool. I'm glad we saw one of those in this video. That's the first one in a while, I think, too. Baku Nano Infinity Helios is a nice touch. Ooh, a translucent Derak is also good. Oh, and then you've got all these different, like, Darkest Mech Surge ones. I like Mech Surge and Darkest because of the, the contrast looks good. Ooh, a Pearl Monoris. Ventus Monoris. I used to have one of these, like, growing up, like, as a kid. I'm pretty sure I threw it away. R.I.P. Ooh, now this is a cool display. Okay. Ooh, the Hex Bakugan look good. Those caught my eye. The custom painted cyborg. Cool. You got Hydronoid. You got the Evolution set. Ooh, you got uh, Raisinoid. Derek. Okay, so it's like all the villains. That looks good. Then you got... These are, I guess, technically villains too. Very cool. Oh, and you got Drago up here. Let's see. Do you have them all? You have them all. Drago. Delta. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Lumino, Blitz, Titanium. Ooh, you even got Mercury. Okay, very good, very good. Clap for you. Very good. Oh, that's a cool collection. Okay, looks like there's more, okay. Oh, we've got, okay, we've got the, um, the Legendary Warriors. We have Season 2. We have more Season 2. Do you have two different, okay, maybe, you might have two different Hex Vipers. That's cool. This looks good, okay. I really like this translucent one. That's nice. Oh, and then you have the Baku Tech ones. Very cool. Oh, this must be... Okay, this is still the same person. Oh, look at these. I like the lighting. I don't know if there's like a light behind this. That's really cool. Is this handmade as well? Oh, and you have more Gen 3. Okay. That looks... This looks good. Okay, we got some... Looks like a mix of Reboot and Gen 1. Nice. What is this? Is this a, one of the Dragonoids from Gen 2? Got a nice Ventus MK2 Leonidas and a Diamond Leonidas. Very nice. Okay. A sealed special attack Dragonoid. And then you got a bunch of different Neos. That's cool. Is that every attribute? I think that's every attribute except Darkest. I don't know if it came out in Darkest though. That's awesome. I really like this. I need to find a way to store my Bakugan better and I feel like this might be a good route to go. These look good though, all these different diamonds and stuff. I really like the the detail on some of these diamonds. And then you got some Gen 3. I don't recognize this Bakugan. You guys have to let me know what that is. Ah, yes, here we go. There's more of them. Um, Yeah, so I mean, just the ability to resin print Hydronoid is impressive. Now this one I think is a 3D model someone made because it's a little off. Um, But hey, there's more Bakugan in the back, yeah. So like the ability to just print ultimate dragonoid or to print naga is crazy like you see here we have the ventus ones uh and then the pyrus one and then there's looks like there's a clear one in the back it's just it's awesome that we can do that here's a good overview shot there's a borea 80 you know that's a that's is that borea 80s no there's a is this dryoid i think this is dryoid like there's just a dryoid there now like we can have those ba like spin master never gave them to us so as a community, we we're just like, you know what? We'll do it ourselves, which is awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, and here they are lighting up. See, this is cool. Now I'm wondering, for the lights, did you use Bakugan lights? Or did you use like some from like Amazon or like something that's laying around? Because technically, I could see us taking the, the lights from the Genesis Bakugan and putting them into these. Or taking lights like we had in Monoris and stuff like that and putting them in these. So I don't know. That's curious. I'm not quite sure how the electronic component works to that, but nonetheless, it's very cool. Okay, good looking little collection. All right, I like the top. I like that these are magnetic. That's really cool. You got Drago, Ravenoid, just like some classic season one, which is, you can never go wrong with classic season one. I like that Warius there. I've never had Warius. You got two of them. Oh, and Crab Boy himself. Very cool. Okay, okay, okay. Laser Man, very awesome. Man, I had this B1 Darkish Translucent Laser Man a while back, and I sold it, and I regret it every day now. <laughs> I like Laser Man. Oh, and look at these old Pyrus dudes all together. So we have a lot of limited edition sets, which is always cool. So I think my big question for your collection is, so these were, I believe they were the Bakukan ones, correct? Because the, um, the, the steel one, the titanium 
silver steel one came in the same boxes my question for you is did you buy these somewhere off of someone or did you actually go to the bakucon in 2007 and participate i think that's my big question for you otherwise these are really cool because i can see the other limited edition sets being you know more available but yeah this is like bakucon 2007 which is awesome and look at this yeah where are you guys getting these from the, like this looks cool I need I need better storage. I'm keeping mine like Tupperware containers. Yeah, I like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, and the cards. So the cards. Oh, do the cards stack on top? Oh, look at these. These are custom made. Ground Zero, and you have all these different gate cards. Is this season? It's not season two, is it? It might be season two cards. Okay, all right. I like the display here. Very very cool. I like the pearl back we got in the middle. Nice setup. Ooh, is this a reverse Baku Ventus <laughs> Hydronoid? That's cool. You got the darkest one. Another Glitter Sting Lash. Okay. Got the boys up here. Oh, there's just... I like watching these because it's like every time I look, my, my brain's like, oh, a new Bakugan. <laughs> okay, I dig this display too. It's sort of like what I have mine in. Oh, look at all the diamonds, man. Is that a Prisma? Ooh. I've, I looked for Prisma so long and never found it. Yeah, these diamonds look good, dude. I feel like the Gen 3 kind of oversaturated the diamonds, but the reboot, like Gen 2, did it just right. So having a lot of these is just super cool to see. Okay, let's take a look. See, these... See, I'm thinking I need one of these, too. And, like, you can get, like, the jewelry, the jewelry ones, but they're not the same. I like all the battle gear. That looks good. Nice. Yeah, these are, these are cool. Look at that Tigrera card. See, that's cool to me. I like that stuff. Ooh, look at these boys. Look at the reflections. As a photographer, I appreciate that. Yeah, these look good. Ooh. Got my Aquas boy in the nature. Looks good. <laughs> uh, that's funny. My boy's just sad. Or maybe he's hopeful. Not sure. Man, wherever you live is very pretty. I can just tell. I like these. The photography stuff's cool to see you guys do. Nice. Loving the loving the diamond. Again, like I said, like the diamonds and elementals, man, they did it right in Gen 2. I like this Trox. He's goofy looking. You got the Dragos. Oh, is this uh, the Diamond Drago from the first season of Reboot? That's cool. And then... Oh, is that a Blitz Fox? That's cool. Okay. And then Fennica. Some of these I've never really seen before. Trox is just goofy, man. Oh, and then check these out. Oh, look, there's another Trox. Ooh, is this a prototype? The coloring's off, because some of it's green and some of it's an orangey yellow. I think I remember reading this and it's a prototype. That's really cool. So this is the first Radisson I've seen in the submission. So that's, you know, awesome for you. It's, dude, you have the Lanzado too? Oh, you do. But I think this is the copper version. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, look at these. Oh, and you even have this Chaos Crowl, dude. If if I could get my hands on... Oh my god, you have another Radisson? Ooh, okay. And you have this Chaos Reptac. Now, this is the first one I've seen since, like, the wiki. And I'm not even sure if this is 100% real, because I've seen some really impressive customs of this bakugan like with the pearl so you'll have to let me know in the comments i guess um oh, and you have this heridian i really want heridian but if i knew that some like some of these bakugan were more easily accessible like crowl here like chaos crowl i would probably try and collect all the villains um but man this this collection is worth a lot and like, some of these are just nearly impossible to get. And, like, my my own peace of mind could not make me try and hunt for one of these. I just couldn't. Got a Spiron here, too. I like Spiron. A lot of, like, Celons back we gone are really cool. Man, this is awesome. Okay, so this is Season 3. And, man, you have all the battle gear, which is really cool. Nice. Okay. Season 2. Oh. I think you should custom paint your Cyborg Helios. That is my request. Falcon fly here. Okay, Dragos. Got all of them. Where is... I guess that might be in... Okay, oh my god. Look at this. You got dry weight in the back. <laughs> my brain's going everywhere. Uh, This is just impressive. Where is... Oh, 
And then season one, you have a B2 Skyrus. Very nice. There's your Cycloid. I was expecting to have these. And oh, look, you got the uh, darkest uh, Hydranoid there. And you got Silent Naga. Very nice. These are good. Very impressed by this collection. This is this is a really, really well done one. This one took probably a lot of time. Okay, next up, next up. Oh man, some of these translucent subterra, they're cool looking. Oh, we got a reverse Aquas Preus and a Ventus Preus. I like the little Pearl Drago in the back. I like how they're all categorized. This is a nice little collection. You got the DS exclusive White Naga. Very cool. An El Condor. Never had an El Condor. Don't know why. He is kind of freaky looking. And that's the end of the collection, guys. Thank you all who submitted. Uh, if you'd like to submit your own Bakugan for another video like this, stay tuned. Every now and then I'll occasionally just post a sub like submissions post where you can go to the Discord and submit there. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We won't do one probably for a little while. I like to give people time to come into the channel and get like acclimated and then submit stuff. So we have new people submitting instead of seeing the same thing. Uh, but thank you all who submitted. These were some of the most impressive collections I've seen in a while. This is this was really fun. I enjoyed doing this review. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. My name is Jesse, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.